We're playing the generation game with a couple looking to bring Gran into the family. Would you move in with your mother-in-law? Now that is a tough question. <laughs> if I could buy the house next door, possibly, just as a little, or maybe a big shed. Forget Shedsville, I think these guys are looking for something a little bigger. Well, I'd rather have length, to be honest, than width. Because I want... <laughs> <laughs> We're finding a new home for a growing family. So, nothing new there then. But this house needs to be home not just to mum, dad and the kids, but granny as well. Yep, the mother-in-law is moving in. And it's our job to keep everyone happy. Accountant Hardeep Burmey lives a comfortable life in a three-bedroom semi just outside Birmingham with wife Deborah and their two young boys, Jay Hi. and Ethan. Yeah. Sounds dreamy, but things are about to change big time. Hardeep's mum is moving in. Living with your mother and living with your mother-in-law is never the easiest thing to do, but be good for the kids. Um, <laughs> I'm sure Debbie will get used to it in the end. The Burmese situation is increasingly common. The only way many people can afford the right house is to pitch in together and buy as an extended family. Three generations all living under the same roof is predicted to triple in the next 20 years. I realise it's not going to be a bed of roses and I realise there's going to be rows, etc, that sort of thing. But hopefully we'll just have to learn to, to live together. Hardeep's mum lives on her own at the moment, but now needs a little more care. Moving with Hardeep and Debs to their new home will offer her all the support she needs and the proceeds from the sale of her house will go towards their new and larger, all singing, all dancing, family friendly house. So, one big house for one big extended family. A piece of cake. Well, it would be if only they could agree where they wanted it. Sutton Coldfield's my preferred choice. And I think you get value for your money in Sutton Coldfield. Um, for our budget, I think we're going to get the, possibly the house of our dreams. Of, you know, touch wood. Uh, Debbie's mum lives in Harborne. And Harborn is definitely Debbie's choice. Hardy's mum isn't 100%. You know, her health isn't 100%. Um, so we've we've started to think that maybe my family, I'm going to need to fall back on my family a little bit more with the children. The only person that's not worried about location is Hardeep's mum. The important factor is that she can move in with Hardeep and Debs, and she's trusting them to find the ideal home. To the north of the city centre is Hardeep's choice, Sutton Coalfield. It offers real value for money, great schools and beautiful houses. Debbie's family live to the south in Harbin. It's got a deservedly upmarket reputation and there lies the snag. The average price for a detached house here last year was almost double that of Sutton Coalfield. This search boils down to three things, psychology, psychology and psychology. Hardeep's an accountant and he's thinking with his head for Sutton. You certainly get more for your money, but poor old Debs will be facing life in an unfamiliar area, living with her mother-in-law. No wonder she wants to be in Harborn with a bit of her own family support. You guys have got quite a long wish list. Just run through it for me and try, if possible, to start with the most important and go down. Um, I think the most important is the space. Four bedrooms. Yeah. Definitely. But also where it is. I've done a lot into looked a lot into this that so the schools are pretty good there. Okay, yeah. so size, location, catchment area. Absolutely. Yes. No, it's not just a three part wish list. Come on. No, there's not, there's more. Um, we don't want to be on a busy road as well, wherever it happens to be. Ideally, we'd like a bigger garden. We've got quite a small garden now, but I don't want to have a field at the back of the house. Okay. Um, it's just because you ain't gonna get one. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough brief. With contribution from Hardeep's mum, the family budget tops out at 430,000. Sounds like a lot, but we're searching an expensive territory. The family are after a detached four-bedroomed house on a quiet road in either Sutton or Harborn, and that's just for starters. Well, it's the usual recipe, isn't it? We listen to what they want, we ignore what they want, we go hunting for the most suitable properties in their price range and location, and we browbeat them until they buy them. Very nicely put. Is it easy, this job, once you know how to do it? This family are expecting a lot for their money. We've got a budget of 430,000. Five beds. It's got to have a family kitchen. Two en suites. Long garden. Catchment area for the good schools. Eight, seven, five. Five uh -huh. bedrooms, six, 50. I'm not even close. 
With all those demands, so far we've drawn a blank in Harborn. There's just nothing suitable within budget. So we're starting the search in Sutton and straight away breaking one of their golden rules. This house is on a busy road, but with its generous frontage, it's well set back from the traffic. And I think its sheer size could show them what their budget has the potential to achieve. And you don't get views like this anywhere else in Sutton or Harborn for that matter. On for £439,000, it's at the top of their budget, but the house has a lot to offer. Right, now, Deborah, first things first, what were you just saying? The road's a bit noisy. You, though, you chicken, you said no! <laughs> Not a great start. Hope we haven't fallen at the first hurdle here, Kirsty. Have a bit of faith, Phil. I know the road's an issue, but they haven't seen the inside yet. This 1930s house has bags of character and all the space this family could need. At the back, there's a huge garden for the kids to play in, and upstairs, I've got a nifty idea for Hardeep's mum, giving her and the family their own space. With everything it offers, they'd be daft to dismiss this house straight away. So what do you think of this kitchen, then? It's gorgeous. Lovely floors, the original the floor's, floors all stripped and polished up. Mm. And look at that garden. I thought the kitchen would be a bit bigger with that room as well. Blimey, Hardeep, you're not opening a restaurant. This kitchen's huge. I am mighty keen on this house, as you probably noticed. I can tell. I'm going to take you straight into the master bedroom, OK? And straight over to the window. Let's address this road issue from the top. It's a summer day. It's very quiet. It's very quiet. And that's why I was prepared to show it to you. And this house could really work for Hardeep's mum too. Here, lovely double bedroom. En suite shower room for your mother-in-law, connecting to a little sitting room. Whilst Kirsty works on convincing Debbie, I want to show Hardy the kind of lifestyle this house can offer. The sheer fact that this is here is great. Yeah. No one sets out saying, I want to live on a busy road, but no. quite a few people no. would go, I wouldn't mind living opposite a golf course and a sailing club, having a nice big garden and walking my kids to school. Sounds tempting to me, but have we scored a hole in one? Kirsty and I were very mindful of the fact that you said you didn't want to live yeah. on a road and we've taken you straight to a house on a road. Reasons, yeah. we hope, are quite clear. You were, I guess, perfectly within your rights to walk in and go, what the hell are you doing? Yeah. Well, I did uh, think that when I walked up the drive. I thought, what? Weren't you listening? But you <laughs> I say that to Phil the whole time. Weren't you listening? She says it to me all the time. But um, I do see Us exactly... Us have to do a lot of listening, don't we? <laughs> I do see exactly why you've done it, and it's it's not a no in my books. I don't think it's a no in your books, is it? No. No, no. It, it ticks a lot of boxes. But not exactly brimming with enthusiasm, Hardy. I suspect the busy road may be a deal breaker here. Hopefully, we'll have more luck with our next one. This stunning four-bed Victorian terrace is set bang in the middle of Boldmere, Hardeep's favourite area of Sutton Coalfield. It's perfect for schools and commuting. Although not on the same scale as the last house, this road couldn't be quieter. The figures add up too. On the market for 389,950, it's well under budget. How does it strike you from the outside? There's no garage. Maybe you should have asked Deborah Kirsty. Garage or no garage, this house is stunning. Hardeep's mum could be very comfortable here with the space it has to offer. This place is being sold by two talented artists and it shows in the imaginative attention to detail. It's got four large bedrooms and two beautiful reception rooms, but it's the personal touches that really make this place shine. We know that Boldmere is Hardeep's ideal spot. Yes. Yeah. Does it work quite as well for you? I mean, how far is it to your family? Driving, it's probably going to be a good 40 minutes or so. Um, and my mum doesn't drive, so she would probably have to get the train if she wanted to come and visit me. She can't just pop round, do you know? It's got to be planned, really. Debs may be worried that she's too far from her family, but in Hardeep's book, this location's ideal, and that's not all it offers him. Now, Hardeep, we thought this might be where you and Deborah might want to hide out when the rigours of family life overcame okay. you. You've got a lovely ensuite shower there. And then, this is a nice big room. Now, at the moment, obviously, it's got all the kids clutter. Yeah, yeah. But if you put a double bed against that wall, it's a lovely, light, bright room. Yeah. And downstairs, you've got a really big room for your mum. But size is a matter of opinion. I think downstairs is possibly too small. Uh, right. The, certainly the two living rooms are. Nice try, Kirsty, but I don't think we've won these two over quite yet. I think that... 
old-fashioned fussy. You know, we haven't come across that for a while. Just... What do you mean, old-fashioned fussy? Just fussy. Hi, you two. Hello. You had a good look round? Yes, we have. It's no, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Just tell me, I think I already Sorry. know, but in one sentence, what is the primary reason for the fact that it's a no? It's not big enough. I thought we'd struck gold with this house. It's in Hardeep's ideal location and within budget. Hardeep and Deborah really need to start facing facts. I very much appreciate that space is your number one criteria. That's the motivation mm -hmm. for the move. Mm -hmm. But you're trying to weigh in with the location criteria as well. No, maybe we were being a bit too picky. I think... Uh, no! Were you? I think it's good that we wait out for the, for the right thing, but not <laughs> try to get... Okay. I don't think we're going to get absolutely everything we want. <laughs> I think we realise <laughs> that. Do I. I think I realise that, but I think we can get most things we want. These two have such firm views, but with their budget, we're going to need a stroke of luck to find it. Luck, Phil. Blood, sweat and tears, more like. But hey, I've never let you down. Oh, my God! <laughs> we're not going to be able to afford this. This week, we're looking after the Burmese family fortunes. Deborah and Hardeep are selling up and moving in with Hardeep's mum. Three generations under one roof? Our survey says, uh-uh. Hardeep and Debs are groaning under the weight of their family's housing needs. They're looking for a four-bedroomed house for 430,000 or less. We've already shown them two humdingers. It's a no, isn't it? Yes. But their fight to find more space for their expanding family and their differing opinions on the right location have so far got me beat. Buck up, Phil. This search isn't over yet. The key to Deborah's heart is getting her closer to her family. Time to give the girl what she wants. We're moving the search over to the other side of Brum, to the upmarket area of Harborn. It's a fantastic place to live with great schools, beautiful parks and stunning houses. But living the high life doesn't come cheap. The average price of a detached house here last year was a whopping £609,000, well over the Burmese budget of 430. Our initial search drew a blank in Harbin. It was simply out of the Burmese price range. But I've just had a call from an agent with some interesting news. This six-bedroom period property was on the market at a cool half a million. But it seems the developer may need some cash, and it's just had a whopping 50 grand knocked off the price tag. With some clever dealing, I think this could be within the Burmese reach. And that could make Deborah a very happy woman. So, Debs, you're really the reason why, we've, why we're I here. I know, I know. <laughs> um, Thank you very much. You can't be far from your, your family. No, no, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten more. minutes. God, ten Hardy, minutes you're more. a brave man. Live with your own mum and live ten minutes from your mum-in-law. <laughs> he hasn't said he'd do it yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it all works. It but all many works. men wouldn't even consider that. I think it looks really nice. OK, and let's get in there. Okay. quite a cool. road. It is a quite a road, yep, yep. Compared to Sutton, you don't usually get as much for your money in Harbin, but I think this house is a real find. It's a period property that's just had a shiny new makeover. Spread out over three floors, Hardeep's mum would be spoilt for choice with any of these generous bedrooms. And it doesn't end there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who wanted space? Who wanted a big family kitchen? <laughs> oh, my God. Holy moly. What you have here is Granny's room. Formal reception room, large family kitchen, oh God, playroom so conservatory, and downstairs laundry room. This is bang on. Because the kids there. Bang on. Me here. No, the kids. No, the kids are in the, the, kids are the, kids in are in the playroom oh, beyond. Have they? Come, look, come, you, come you look, the kids. The kids aren't in the kitchen. So no. that okay, sort of comfy down. seating area. This then there's a dining room. I was going to say you could have a sofa there. Yeah, yeah. A sofa yeah. here. And then kids. Kids are in here. Oh wow. Straight Probably to the garden. Biggest garden we've come across. It is big. That, it, it's room it, for your little den or something down the end. This is a bit of a wow for me. Hardy doesn't get wowed. I don't think Debs thought we'd ever find her anything like this in Harborn. Oh my god! <laughs> We're not going to be able to afford this. Well, it's got everything. This house. It is the mutt's nuts. <laughs> if they don't buy it, I will eat your hat. So are you two still impressed? Yes, yeah. Yeah, very yeah. impressed. Yeah. Really like it. Yeah, really yeah. like it. 
Well, let's let's split up. Keep exploring. Oh, boss, boss, boss. Oh. Debs, come and see the master bedroom suite with me. Okay. Hardy, we'll head up to the top. Okay, brilliant. Keeps going this house. It's narrow yeah. the garden, but it's very long. Well, I'd rather have length, to be honest, than width, because I want. <laughs> <laughs> Even the accountant in Hardeep is starting to melt. I think I'm definitely thinking with my heart at the moment because I love the house. I've got to say, when I walked in, I didn't think I would, um, but I do. Um, garage or no garage, it's great. The location of this house couldn't be better for Deborah. What kind of difference would it make to your life being a mile away from your mum? No, really, really good, especially now with Hardeep's mum. I realise that I'm relying on my mum a lot more. Yeah. Hardik's mum was fully capable before of looking after the children or just I helping see. us out. Yeah. Yeah. And we could just leave them there and run off for a couple of hours and come back. But now, unfortunately, she's not. Thank God I've got my mum, because yeah. that's what I mean, exactly. That I, she's, you know, she's there for me. Just as we hoped, it's really getting them. Don't know whether they want to spend the money, but it is a fantastic house. I, I'd certainly go for it. Quite a place, isn't it? Definitely, and um, every room I went into I just really loved. But I haven't seen one where I've walked in like this and I've gone, wow, wow, yeah, wow, and no, I just... Nor have I, to be fair. And I think I'm very much thinking with my heart. I need to think with my head. <gasps> You're um, not, are you? Yeah. <laughs> where did you find that? <laughs> <laughs> in my back pocket. <laughs> no, but, uh, Success at last. Not so fast, Kirsty. Harborn may have been a big hit, but the reality is it's still 20 grand over budget. This last house is back in Sutton, where you get a lot more for your money. It's a five-bedroomed house on the market for just under 420,000. 30 grand cheaper than the Harborn house and comfortably back in budget. It's on a quiet road, has a huge garden and real scope to add some value. That should appeal to Hardeep. Inside, the house needs a little updating, but is in great shape and it's huge. With £10,000 left in the kitty, the Burmies could create the perfect home. For an extended family desperate for more space, this house really would be a sensible option and a great buy. Now here we are, straight into the sitting room. Oh, this is nice. No, it is. It's lovely. So oh, Hardy, look at the garden. This is the bit of the winner. That garden's lovely. Isn't it? It's beautifully maintained and most oh, private. You could sum it with no clothes on in there and no one would be it's any the wiser. It's really nice. With just a little updating, this house would have plenty of wow factor. It may not be Debbie's ideal location, but being back in Sutton means you get a lot of bricks for your bucks. Not the kitchen of the previous house, no, okay? Not by any But way. what you do is you see that cupboard there? Yeah. And all the way along here, you knock it through. So you've got really quite a lot of extra depth there. I think the potential of this place is winning Hardeep over. Debbie would be happy with Harborn. There's no questions about that. And is that worth 10 grand more? In Debbie's eyes, it's definitely worth more than 10 grand more. In my eyes, I would like to go away and think about it. Well, that's fine. We're not gonna, we're not gonna pull your fingernails out if you don't make a decision that's now. That's not what you said earlier. Debbie was so won over by the last house, I want to find out if her heart's even made it through the front door. If I'd seen that house in Sutton, I would be a bit, oh, it's in Sutton, I wish it was in Harborn, but I think I'd still have to go for it, because I love it. Therefore, you're admitting you're not actually giving this the time of day. No. <laughs> I just even, like to follow you around. <laughs> even though, thank you very much. Once you've known him as long as I have, Debs, the novelty wears off, believe me. This is a great house with a real investment potential. But at the end of the day, Deborah is allowing Hardeep's mum to move in with them. So he so is going to let her live near her mum. I agree. Although he's probably quite taken with this He's house. very taken, because he likes the idea of a house to which he can add value. Mm. And he's right. But all yeah. this head over heart stuff, at the end of the day, his heart lies with making Debbie happy. Mm. He said that a few times. Yeah. As long as she's happy, he's happy. Yeah. Sensible man. Let's just hear your combined thoughts on this house. This is a big house um, with a big garden. It's got, yeah. it's got the garage, it's got the driveway, and it's on for less money. I know you're going to kill me for saying this, but I just feel like it's too quiet here. Spend the evening thinking about it. You only need one house. Next morning, and you'll never guess what. Here we are back in Harborn. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Everyone. 
thoughts overnight? Debbie won, clearly. Yeah, of course I won. It's not a war, Phil. It's not a matter of who wins no. and who loses. We agreed together, didn't we? Yep. Whatever you say, Deborah. This house is 20 grand over budget, but we think we could get it for less. Debs's happiness has got to be worth the extra money. One of the main reasons for the move was to bring Hardeep's mother into the family, and Hardeep's already got ideas. So we're only coming up one flight of stairs. Yeah, we're only coming up one flight of stairs. I think we probably said that we, you know, we try, try to give her her own space, but at the same time, mm. we're trying to get her integrated into in, in with us, and she's already a big part of the family, and sure. it, it's, it's important for the kids that they grow up with her. And I don't want her to sort of, sort of be there and make out like she's in the way. She's not in the way, mm. and that really is the main goal. Great. And I think that this house achieves that. Yeah. Whenever you buy a newly developed property, it's important to draw up a good snagging list. Any serious problems must be sorted out before exchange. I noticed the first time we came, there were a couple of cracks up there. Cracks like that wouldn't bother me. <sighs> Girl after my own heart. It's quite normal, isn't that it? That is quite normal. I think you just want to make sure that they've got the documentation which says that's properly supported. Yeah, OK. So we'll just put one beam on window. After a thorough inspection, Debs and I head off to find the boys. We're done and dusted. No really? problems at all. We've been talking about numbers and... Well, we've been doing a very detailed snagging list. We've been talking about cracks. Have you <laughs> yes, <just>? well... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not sure we want to know about that, but... Um, OK. Um... I think it's time that um, we went and found somewhere a bit warmer. Maybe yeah. with a glass yeah. or two in yes, front of us. Please. Phil, make a beeline for the bar. Oh, so surprising. We came up here not too confident that we could find it, but... I think we've surpassed ourselves, Kirst. He's a smug guest, isn't he? Yeah. No, you did, you did great finding the house in Harbour. Would you like to go ahead and make an offer on the Harbour house? <laughs> I think that goes without saying. Yeah. yeah. I did want to make an offer. Their top limit is £430,000. They're prepared to offer their max. OK. Bye. I feel like I'm going to go and sit an exam. It's difficult to wait, isn't it? We're trying to buy this house from a couple of developers. They're going to be after the cold, hard cash. Even though we put in a firm offer at 20 grand under the asking price, they're going to play a tough game. It's impossible to tell which way this is going to go. James. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, s***. James, can you just do this for me? I've had another offer. Can you leave the offer on the table? Okie doke. Thanks, James. The vendor has said he won't accept less than 440. What we have to pin our hopes on is that they're calling our bluff. Mm. Yeah. And when we don't move and we leave the offer there, they go, actually, 430 is not bad, let's take yeah. it. I know Debbie feels gutted right now, sure. but... Oh, no, Debbie, this is just the first another, step. Day. Promise yeah. me. I'm... I know, I know, I know, but we've been looking so long. I know, I know it's been taken away. It hasn't, it hasn't been taken been away. Taken it hasn't away. been taken, it taken away. Been we find it and we're going to get it. Yeah. It's going to be okay. fine. All right. A week on and with no word from the vendors, Hardeep and Debs make one last attempt to secure the Harbin house. They stretch their offer by another £8,000. And I'm delighted to say the developer accepts their offer. It's going to be just fantastic. It will make, it will make us happier, which will make Hardeep's mum happier. You know, the kids will finally be settled as well. And it'll just be great. Next week, we're in Norwich, holding the hands of some seriously cautious first-time buyers. A year of searching, and they're no closer to finding a home. Let's hope their bad luck isn't catching. They love this house. Can't we just run now? Do we have to be the ones to tell them this? <laughs> <laughs>